last weekend it was Father's Day, so before I start this video, I just want to greet all the fathers out there. Bladed happy Father's Day to you guys. Okay, just give me a minute to teach that piece of this video. So last weekend is also the time where Sofia Andres announced that there's a kid with his, with his boyfriend. And it made me think how many godchild that they have. Plus, yung mga people on social media also post na they're soon going to be dad and it shook me. Officially, I have two godchildren. Si Jacob and si Eugene. And there's two coming more on the way. We're just waiting na mababtay sila. Si Quinn and si Relaya. So, it comes to me na parang na-realize ko na Hey, you guys, my generation, the millennial generation, is now going to be responsible for the shape or how the next generation will form. If you are already working, you know how important it is to be financially aware. And I think there are some financial lessons that you wish you learn sooner than learning it on the fly. So I suggest let's talk about our money advice for the next generation. So this is like a video about what I wish I knew about money when I was younger, which I want the next generation to pick up at a younger age. And at the same time, money lessons that we should teach our kids, because my age group are now becoming parents. And I don't think that they are aware that they should teach their kids about money. Number one on this list is teaching the importance of money. Let me just clarify lang muna. Money is important, but not to the point na kailan mo ibenta yung kalulo mo or kailan mo gumawa lang something against your will. So yun, I just want to emphasize that muna at the beginning of this video. For me, the person that really influences me about the importance of money is my lolo. I don't know if it is the right way of teaching kids the importance of money, but how he taught it to me is by teaching me the story of where our family came from. Because it's easy to take things for granted, especially if you're in a better spot because I'm a kid of two working class parents and they have all the means to provide for my needs. But during the time of my lolo, he needs to borrow money pa just to send my mom and my aunt to college. Then, babayaran na lang nila yun after they sell lansones. My auntie, who's my mom's sister, gifted me this expensive camera. Pero before, she used to work as a sales lady sa SM before siya maging nurse sa US. One story that my lolo keep on repeating is that they only buy new stuff pagka Pasko or Christmas. That's the only time where my aunt and my mom gets new stuffs. So, we, that's the reason why we cherish Christmas so much. How could you not be excited for Christmas? And nakatim lang sila ng soft drinks pagka may special occasion. I guess those humble beginnings coming from a poor family who work hard just to get a better life. Uh, para makes me appreciate more kung ano yung pinaghirapan nila na hindi ko na lang siya pwedeng gasosin ng basta-basta. Number two on this list is saving money. Actually, saving money was taught to us ever since we were a kid. Akala ko yung normal na pagka may napapaskuhan ka sa Pasko, you're just going to deposit it on your savings account. And since yung birthday ko was close to uh, Christmas, so yung mga extra money na nakuha ko on my birthday, so I also deposit it on my savings account. So yung pinakaunang savings account ko was a joint savings account ata with my parents sa uh, Rural Bank of My High. If you're new here to my channel, My High Laguna was my hometown. And funny enough, the Rural Bank of My High closed last 2013. So we had to claim our money sa PDIC sa Makati at the same year. So don't worry too much about your money sa bank kasi naka-insured naman yan. Just be careful na sa mga fraudulent transactions ngayon because talamak yan in today's current age. Alright, I'm back. Growing up, I felt slightly insecure now we don't have a cable, a telephone, um, a PlayStation console, a computer. Now, we don't have those stuffs that my friend's family has growing up. Hindi ako makarelate nun when my friend starts talking about Cartoon Network shows kasi wala naman kami cable nun noong mga grade school days ko. Most of the time, wala ako sa bahay namin nun kasi wala naman kami console game dito and wala rin kami computer. So, I used to play at my friend's house kasi meron silang PlayStation doon, meron silang computer. So, yung mga Yuri's Revenge, Red Alert. Year of reporting. Tekken 3 pa yung mga games namin nun. Then, uh, sometimes naki-internet lang din ako sa mga kaibigan ko. ISP Bonanza pa yung internet nila doon. So, yun yung maingin at tumutunod.
Tapos uh, mawawalan siya ng uh, telephone connection for a while. So I really had a simple and humble childhood. So everything changed when my parents finished paying our home. So ito na yung bahay na nakikin nyo sa videos ko. It's not that big. Wala kami sariling garage na papapark nga ng sarili naming car. But at least, diba, my parents has a home na matatawag nilang pa nila talaga and hindi nilang kami nagrenta na lang. So what my parents did was every Christmas pagka may bonus sila or extra money, they paid off in advance yung home loan namin. And nung natapos na nilang bayarin yung bahay namin, I think that's the time we're able to afford a more generous lifestyle. I think that was 2008 or 2009 when my family finished paying our home. I think yun din yung time na una nag-travel kami sa Boracay, so domestically. And I think yun yung unang time na naramdaman namin na nakaluwag na kami in our way of living. The lesson that I wanted to tell from that story is that living below your means and the linear gratification changed my life and should be taught to the next generation as well. Last on this list is a trait that I noticed with my friends God, now that we are an adult and making our own money. As a former insurance advisor for three and a half years, I used to talk to my friends or people around me about their finances. And there's one parang moment that I offer to my friend God that really caught my attention. And when I offered it to him, his response to me was, Ah, uh, mukha okay ang in-offer mo, pero um, gusto ko muna ipaalam sa parents ko kung okay bang kumuha niyan. And there's one more na mas malala pa doon. So, even though he's making na his own money up to today, ang ginagawa niya is uh, binibigay niya pa rin lahat ng money niya to his mom and he let her mom manage his money. And kasi nangyari yun because um, when we're instead in college or nung nag-aaral pa kami, what he does is pagka may sobra siyang money dun sa allowance niya, he give it back to his mom and then uh, mag aasa na siya ng permission pag may kailangan siyang bilay. And yan tuloy ngayon na nag Uh, nag-work na siya or he's still he's now making his own money ang nangyayari tuloy binibigay niya pa rin lahat yun sa mom niya and pagka may gusto siyang gawin or may gusto siyang bilhin still ask permission to his mom pagka may kailangan niya siyang gawin that needs money yung thesis na gusto kong i-point out dito is as a parent uh, don't let your kids rely on you too much sa pagmamanage ng money nila especially when they're in their late teens and as a kid Uh, let your parents know na you want to learn how to manage your money independently pagka nasa late teens ka na. The implications that I tend to notice pagdating sa ganitong sitwasyon is they tend to pick up money management very late. And pag kasi meron ka ng working income, mas malaki na yung consequences kasi mas malaki na yung nagagamit mo for your unnecessary expenses than learning it ng ginagamit mo lang is yung uh, allowance mo from your parents. What I've noticed between my friends who are good with money and bad with money is that they still make the same unnecessary mistake, yung initial spending mistake ng mga Uh, young adults so they spend on um, cheap flights um, bags sneakers and yung flagship phones so whether you're good with money or bad with money you still tend to make this money mistake your initial money mistake including me of course the only difference na napansin ko is that uh, people who are good with money tend to realize sa mas maaga na mali yung ginagawa nila sa pera nila while people who are bad with money tend to do it at a longer period of time yung maling paggasos ng pera nila siguro ganun lang talaga everyone has to satisfy their insatiable hunger of pleasing themselves with their hard earned money that they make The only key difference is people who are good with money quickly realizes their money mistakes. But still, having that independence to decide what you want to do with your own money at a younger age gives you an advantage because it allows you to make your money mistake earlier at the same time, it allows you to correct your money mistake earlier. So it's really important to let your kids have their freedom to manage their own money pagka nasa late teens na sila. That's it for this video. I'd really appreciate if you hit the like button because that helps my video reach more viewers. Subscribe for more personal finance videos kaya na ito. And leave some comments about What money, what money advice would you give your younger self? I'll just leave you guys with some money advice that I collected from my friends. And just a reminder na lang, I'll be uploading yung Q&A video ko siguro ng Tuesdays, uh, June 30. So yun lang. Alright. So yung tanong ko sa'yo is, ano, parang what money wisdom you wish you knew earlier? Siguro yung right budgeting. Saka learning to say yes or no sa mga gusto mong bagay. Ah. Ito yung naging luck ko nun eh. Parang, alam ko naman mag-budget, pero hindi ko ginagawa kasi parang yung mga luho, yung mga ganun. Hindi mo mapigilan. Tapos parang, oh, yung minsan lang to eh. So, go. Kaya, ayun. <laughs> okay. Yun lang. Okay na. Thank you, Monique. <laughs> bye. Sige, bye. Wish you new earlier. Money wisdom. Ang ma maiisip ko lang naman yung wisdom na I wish I knew, pero hindi, hindi to way back. It's just uh, college. Oh. Which is to earn more dun sa opportunities na nasa iyo, na nasa harap mo. For example, uh, getting money or earning through your skills. Oh. So, example ko is dapat 
kumita ba ano mas malaki dun sa mga sidelines ko dati ng college. Okay. Which is kumita ko dun, pero feeling ko, kung nileverage ko pa siya, is mas okay. So parang hindi mo minaximize yung skill mo before? Hmm, parang okay na ako. Kumita ko konti. Which is, of course, hindi mo na-expect yun as a college student. Parang okay na ako. Ah, ah, ah. Which dapat, mas, dapat nilevel up ko pa so mas naging successful. So, so parang yung pinaka, pinaka point mo dyan is, ah, uh, over parang maximizing yung, yung potential lang skill mo to earn more money. Oh, tama. Ayun. Hindi ko siya maximize. May dadagdag ka pa? Okay, sige, yun lang. Thank you. <laughs> sige.